y'all, it's Taylor from Taylor's Originals LLC and today we're going to be talking about how I take my product photos. Um, but before we jump into the nitty gritty, go ahead and give me a follow um, on Instagram and make sure that you subscribe to my channel so that you guys know or and ring the bell. Please ring the bell so that y'all know when I post a new video, give me advice, tips, tricks, and everything in between as far as jury business and just running a business in general so but let's go ahead and get into it so you guys might be thinking or wondering if I take my product photos with um, a camera such as like a Sony or a Canon or if I just use my regular phone right and the answer is I really just use my iPhone um, to take my product photos specifically right now I have an iPhone 14 just a regular not a pro not a max just a regular iPhone 14 and I take the pictures using the camera that comes with the phone um, and I edit the photos using um, the editing software that can be found um, in your like photo gallery if you have an iPhone right um, but uh, the setup I use to take my product photos really just depends, but lately I've been feeling my light box as you see in the back right here. Um, this light box will be linked um, on my Amazon storefront, which can be found in the description box below, or if you click the link in my Instagram bio, you can find it there as well. But with this light box, it has different features, so I'm just gonna show you guys right now. So this is what the light box looks like. Um, right now I have the white backdrop, but it comes with different colors, so it comes like with black, white, blue, yellow, different um ones that you can use, and then they're they also come with different like side panels if you want to have like a more metallic like reflective look right now i don't have them up just because i really don't use the entire light box space so I'm, my main camera is just focused on the white and uh, the white floor of the box and the um back but in the back of the light box there is a remote well, not remote, but like buttons you can push to turn it off, obviously, and turn it on, and also dim the light. But if you want to brighten it all the way, that is possible as well. Um, I also use my handy dandy ring light sometimes if the light box is not um, it's not producing the right amount of light that I need, right, or that I want. Um, I also have this backdrop as some of you guys may have seen in my older photos if you guys have been following me for like a really long time now. These grass wall panels are from Amazon as well including the neon uh, sign that says good vibes only. Everything that you see here will be linked in my Amazon storefront so no need to worry. Like I said the link will be down in the description box below. And then as far as jury displays. Um, I really just set my products on the floor of the light box and I just take the pictures above. Um, oh, I also forgot to show you guys. So this part right here, it comes up. So you can stick your phone, like have your phone right on top and get that on top photo of your product, right? Let's say I didn't want my hands... Sorry, I'm all over the place today. But let's say I didn't want my hands in the photo i just wanted the product but i need the product to set on because i don't want the floor look right i have these right now they're holding some of my products um but i have these regular jewelry um like bracelet bangle jewelry displays so you can get these from michael's or you get these from amazon um and i just have those um and i have this little bar right now so sometimes you may see that I have the bar and the product I mean the bar and the photo excuse me um while in the product will be on the bar and all this together will be in the light box I'm taking photos right but I'll just let me show you guys so it look like this and i'm taking photos from above through like that little hole that i showed you guys earlier so that's one way i take my photos 
Um, and like I said, I'm doing this all on my iPhone 14. And even before this, I was taking my pictures on an iPhone SE 2020 and um, just using the photo editor app that you find in your iPhone uh, picture gallery. Um, but other than that, it's nothing too crazy, nothing too extravagant. Um, sorry if you guys hear that's my dog in the background. Um, Milo just wants to be by me. <laughs> uh, but other than that, I know when I first started, a lot of pictures that I took were out in the natural, were outside using natural light. And those pictures gained like a lot of traction just because it's natural lighting. The light is hitting the bees and the chimes a certain way and a little extra sprinkle sprinkle razzle dazzle um but other than that it's nothing too crazy i know some people get professional pictures taken other products that's fine too whatever you want to do flush your boat i'm just telling you guys what works best for me and what i've done and what has worked for me um but other than that it hasn't been anything too crazy i'm trying to make sure i didn't leave anything out Yeah, that's pretty much it, y'all. Um, and then sometimes if I want to remove the background from um, my pictures and just have like my product center stage, I just use Canva. But I have Canva Pro, so I just drag um, my picture, the picture that I took on my phone, I drag it onto, or I put it on Canva, drag it onto an empty template, and I just click make it a transparent background simple as that um if you guys need like more in-depth tutorial about that just let me know and i'll make one but other than that those are that's how i take my photos y'all it's nothing it's not rocket science nothing too crazy i don't use the professional cameras or anything or adobe photoshop and whatnot i literally just take the pictures edit it within the photo gallery app and then upload it to shopify who's my website host and I sell my products um but if you guys like this video make sure to give me a thumbs up um make sure you subscribe turn on notification bell so you know whenever I post a new video and I hope to see you guys in the next one bye